My goal is to offer anything that you guys might need. So that includes any kind of resource that you might need for school, but also includes anything that you might need just to relax and to unwind. So things that I've offered for that include our new Raspberry Pi Arcade, where you can come in, you can pick your own game from like old school um, retro games and uh, our puzzle area, of course. So I guess the question is, what am I not offering that you guys need? The library isn't just about coming in and finding things that you need like for research or when you have to have a book. Um, it's also a space that you can come in and relax, you can hang out. Um, it's a social area. It also has places for that quiet individual reflection. But um, I found that you guys really enjoy the retro game and uh, it was something I could bring in easily. And it, um, it, it kind of lightens the mood, gets some stress relief, and it brings people into the library who may not have come in before. Growing up, I just really loved reading and writing and working with English and stuff like that. And like I was thinking, you know, well, maybe I should try out teaching or something like that. But then really in the end, it really just came back to being in the library because I get to talk to different kids and I still get to do what I love, but it's not necessarily in a classroom setting where it's only teach the quizzes and, you know, answer this question and study and stuff like that. A librarian gets to do more than just that. You get to talk about what you love and you get to talk to people and get to know like the actual like heart of people and who they are. So, okay. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex. And I'm Spencer. And this is The, the Couch. Couch. News, we're going to have the, win the school winter dance show on February 7th from 7 to 8 p.m. It'll be in the main gym. It'll be five dollars uh, for entrance fees. And in recent world news, William Menashe, an 84-year-old man, is now hailed to be the octopus whisperer. Menashe has spent 7,800 hours with octopuses. Our national holiday for today, February 1st, is International Change of Password Day. How are you celebrating this holiday? I'm going to be changing my password to Spencer to M1234567289. Now it's Daniel and Mariana for the weather. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Spencer and Alex. Alex. And now for the weather. So today we're having scattered thunderstorms, a 50% chance of rain, and the moon rise today is at 5.05 a.m., and the moon set is at 326 a.m. AM. We have a humidity level of 89% today and winds with a speed of 8 miles per hour. Also, our current moon phase is the waning crescent. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next week on The, the Couch! Okay, that was Tune in next week? week. Dude, what? Right. Tune in. Um, I think I always wanted to work with kids and students. Um, in high school, I took a psychology class, and it was awesome. It was like the best class I took, and it int you know, introduced me to counseling and psychology and just kind of how the mind works. Um, and I always worked with like the youth at my church, and you know, always giving like advice and things like that. And so um, it made me want to go into counseling and work with students, uh, work in high school. A lot. So, uh, I think a lot of students think we just do schedule changes, but it's more than just that. So yes, that's a big part of that. Like right now we're doing registration, so registering every single student at the school. Um, a lot of what we do is, um, so there's an academic side, um, that's, you know, uh, scheduling, registration, but then there's social, emotional as well. And that's where, you know, students have concerns and needs and issues, anxiety, depression, you know, we help them work through those things. They'll come in our office, talk to us. Um, we provide, um, you know, just advice and strategies to help them cope and deal with these things. And then also um, a little bit of, you know, guidance as far as sometimes we go into the classrooms, provide lessons. Um, we just did something with the science classes where they were all taught uh, mindfulness. Um, and so every student in a science class uh, learned about mindfulness and how that can help uh, them throughout the day. So really um, be an influence for uh, the men, the young men, because, you know, if you look around, there's not a lot of male counselors. And in these roles, you know, um, who can have these caring, supportive roles. Um, and so I just want to be a good, good example to the men, 
Um, you know, be a leader. That's why just the way I dress, carry myself, talk. Um, you know, I want to be a leader and example to them. And, uh, you know, just help every single student that's on this campus um, as best as I can. You've heard of grilling club, chess club, and bass fishing club, but now there's a new addition, yoga club. If you have a lot of stress for any reason, not just school, come by the yoga club and stress and feel less anxious. Here at Yoga Club, we do different poses that relax the body. You can also come to Yoga Club if you have lots of stress. So come on by and join Yoga Club from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. each Wednesday.